pause the video, give this question to go yourself first. Okay, so we're going to do a flowchart. Cool. Every flowchart starts off with start. We're going to input 50 numbers. So I'm going to input my first number now. Input num. I'm now going to make number the largest number. So I'm going to have max, which means, um, or let's do largest, not max. Largest equals num, because that would be the first number we type in. So if I type in eight, that would be our largest number. If I type in 10, that would be our largest number <coughs> to begin with. If I type one, that would be our largest number. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to have another variable called total, and that's going to equal num also. Because we're going to need total for when we do the average. I'm now going to make a variable called count. So it's going to keep track of how many numbers we've entered in. And we're going to now be on our number two number. This is number one. We're now entering, going to enter in our number two. <coughs> is count less than 51? Sorry, let's do is count equal to 51, because we're going to stop right then and there. Let's focus on no. Count is not 51 yet. We then want to impart a second number. So let's say we enter in 8. Let's imagine our number at the moment, the first number we entered in. Let's imagine that was 10, so we did 10 and we've done 8. We're now going to increase our total. Total equals our current total plus num for the average. We now need to check to see if 8 is going to be our largest number. So I'm going to do in this statement. Is num bigger than largest? If yes, look how I'm labeling this as well. If no, if it is, so let's imagine that we entered in a thousand. A thousand is bigger than 10. So that will become our largest number. So I'm going to do if yes, largest we equal num. If then what we're going to do is I'm going to make this also go up to here. We need to increment. So that's basically we're going to make our count go up by one. So count equals count plus one. I'm then going to loop back to here, where we check is count equal to 51. If no, we then go through this whole spiel again, we enter in another number. Now, eventually it's going to be yes, count has become equal to 51. What we need to do now is calculate the average but we can't include the largest number. So what I'm going to do is a little formula, because it tells us in the question, I'll put the average of the values excluding the largest number. So we're going to do AB for average equals, and then we're going to have total minus max, sorry, minus largest, 
divided by 49 because we've entered in 50 numbers but we're not taking out we're not including the largest number to get our total we need to do total minus largest because this will then take remove the largest number from the total and then we get an output oops output is the same as input in terms of shape output largest and I'm also going to output the average and then end <coughs> so there we go we've got to start we input a number that becomes the largest number we then add that number to the total we then make count become two because we're going to be entering our second number is count equal to 51 yet no it's not so we're going to keep entering numbers we check to see if this new number is the largest number if it is we make it the largest number if it's not, we increase count to become plus one as well. And we keep looping. Once we finish, we're going to work out the average. To work out the average, we get our total, take away the largest, divide by 49. We then output the largest and then the average, and we have an end.